This year, India marked the 70th anniversary of the nation's attainment of independence, and the Consul General in Durban hosted a special event as part of the celebrations. Mela was invited, and now we'd like to share the experience of Magnificent India with you. In terms of actual distance, the coast of India lies thousands of kilometers away from the Itaquini beachfront. But on this occasion, the spirit of solidarity bridged the ocean as Durbanites gathered to celebrate the anniversary of India's independence. On the 15th of August 1947, India gained its independence from the United Kingdom. Today, Independence Day is one of three national holidays celebrated throughout the country, including its diaspora. So it's only fitting that the Consulate General of India, Durban, planned a little family fun day along the East Coast and Indian Ocean, and he's calling it India Magnificent. In 1947, India's first Prime Minister, Jawaharlal Nehru, addressed the nation from the historic Red Fort in Delhi, with a new national flag then being hoisted. The previous evening, he had made the famous Tryst with Destiny speech to the Constituent Assembly. At the stroke of the midnight hour, when the world sleeps, India will awake to life and freedom. Yoga has been described as India's gift to the world and the event began with a yoga session to help everyone attending the event to de-stress and recenter themselves physically and emotionally. Once the final posture had been completed, Lotus FM presenter Zakia Ahmed Siddiqui set the scene. This is what this morning is all about. It's about having fun. India has brought many cultures. 70 years on, we still celebrate today. The cultural program included classical dances on spiritual themes as well as devotional songs. The Consul General then delivered the welcoming address. Welcome all of you. It's really nice to see so many people have come here and have joined us in this celebration. In the last 70 years, India has seen all around progress and we had our challenges and we have our challenges. 70 years of independence. What are your thoughts on this? Last uh, 70 years have been quite a journey for India. So we have, I think, have progressed very well today. We are the fastest growing economy in the world and we have come a long way and this calls for a celebration. Now for you personally, what does the 70 years of independence mean to you? Today we are here to celebrate India. It's uh, art, it's culture, it's food, it's community bonding of love between the people and that is what we are doing today. The Itaquini municipality was represented by the deputy mayor, Councillor Fosia Peer. Movements were advocating a complete break from British rule for almost a century. The first call for a non-violent movement was led by this eminence, Mahatma Gandhi. Today seems like a beautiful event. What are your thoughts on India celebrating their 70th year anniversary for their independence? The very fact that India has gone a long way socially and, and economically developed itself over the years, I mean 70 years of really it's booming. India is booming economically. When you go there you'd find every person is working hard and I think that that cultural get-together, the tradition, the values of India is there. Which idiot can Depending on which side of the fence you find yourself, the Kandasamis are either the benchmark of Chasud Sheik or a family that represents the stuff that mother-in-law nightmares are made of. Moviegoers love Jeloshni Naidu and Maheshni Naike as the warring mothers of keeping up with the Kandasamis. And they were joined by co-stars Madhushan Singh and Mishka Partipal to reprise their roles on stage at the events. 
The idea was to hold a reality-style cook-off to see who could make the best sweet rice, and the stars immediately slipped into character. Between the Candace zombies and the Nihilists, who do you guys think would be the better cooks? If she came at you, she would have known what's going on. See, no action there. Mine is boiling. You are nothing. No, John. That you. The mother like Dr. I don't know what you do with this guy. Only looking at the face, that's all. She can't cook. I don't mind. If, I don't mind if you marry the boy because he's quite nice. It's just about looking at the mother every day that I have. You will have carrot sticks every day. You are every day you're becoming a mouse. Meanwhile, the judges were stealing themselves to taste the results. And the final desperate adding of ingredients didn't bode well for them or the contestants. We both agree from what we've tasted that the winning sweet rice, even though it was brownish, is the winner. So we've kept up with the Kandasamis and we've seen some amazing dance performances but now I'm famished so I think it's time for us to have a little snack. We are pleased to report that the catering team had absolutely nothing in common with the culinary confusion of Mrs. Kandasami or Mrs. Naidu. And the snacks and freshly squeezed sugarcane and fruit juices received a unanimous thumbs up. This was an authentic mela in every way, with all the ingredients of a fun family-style get-together and a fitting way to celebrate Independence Day. The Indian diaspora may celebrate India's Independence Day with parades or pageants, but here in South Africa, we do things a little bit differently. From yoga and a travel market all the way to a Bollywood extravaganza, today was officially a South African celebration of an Indian liberation.